Did you know that using mindfulness strategies has been shown to reduce blood pressure, heart rate, and stress? Well, with us today is Patrick Zayas, Family and Consumer Sciences Agent with UF IFAS Extension in Orange County. Patrick, nice to see you again. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad you're here. All right, this is an important topic. Mental health is so in the news these days. Let's start off by talking about what's the distinction between mindfulness and meditation? Yeah, so mindfulness, as Dr. John Kabat-Zinn, who's a famous researcher who's kind of done a lot of the research on stress reduction and mindfulness, he describes it as thinking on purpose in a particular way. So when we think about mindfulness, we are really just living in the moment, in the present moment that we have, and not worrying about other things that are going on around us. So mindfulness can be broken into informal practices and formal practices. So informal practices could be something as simple as just a visual observation or active listening, whereas formal practices are more of the structured activities that uh, improve mindfulness. So meditation is a formal practice. So think of meditation as like the weight-bearing exercise for your brain, whereas maybe if you're just doing some dishes and just enjoying the sound of running water, that just might be a little, a little one-off activity. Neat. So it has a lot to do with sort of being present to, to the moment, what you're experiencing through all your senses. But I think some people associate meditation with striving to not think. So explain that. Yeah, I think there's a common misconception that when somebody sees a person practicing mindfulness or meditation, just sitting in a room um, with their own thoughts, I th a lot of times people think that they're thinking of nothing, but we know that that's not really possible. We can't really turn our brains yeah. off. Even when we're sleeping, we're thinking yeah. of something. So really what mindfulness is, it's being intentional about what you think about. So with mindfulness, we focus on what's called an anchor. And so an anchor is just a constant. It could be something like your breath around you, or it could be something like the sound of waves at the beach. But with mindfulness, you're being intentional about what you're thinking about. And therefore, when those thoughts and those feelings arise, you're kind of moving past them because you're refocusing in on your anchor and so it's not that you're not thinking about anything it's that you're being really intentional about what you're thinking about and when these other ideas and these other feelings and these other reminders come up you're just moving through them just like you might move through the problems of life. Patrick is it kind of like working out in that over time you get better at it? That's exactly right so at the beginning you might be able to uh, focus maybe for 10, 15 seconds and then something pops up in your head. You know, what am I going to make for dinner later? Yeah. Um, but over time, as you continue to do it and you, you bring your mind back to your anchor, over time you might be able to go for 30 seconds or 45 seconds or a minute. And then that kind of builds. And then you might be able to, say, sit uh, in peace for five minutes, just focusing on the moment and the presence, and then you can get those benefits. Why should we pursue this? What are some of the benefits going to be? So mindfulness helps us with both our emotional and physical well-being. So our physical well-being is going to be improved by improving sleep. It's going to help us improve our um, anxiety, reducing anxiety, lowering our blood pressure, lowering our heart rate when we have those stressful moments. Um, it's also going to help us if you are somebody who struggles with addictions, it can help you with things like that. And then of course it's going to work with our emotional well-being. So we're not going to be as emotionally reactive to situations that go on or that might happen to us throughout the day. Um, or we could even inque increase our awareness of the things going on around us. So you got to think of it as the physical benefits along with the emotional benefits. And in terms of activities where we can practice this type of mindfulness, you were talking about, you know, maybe you're washing the dishes and you're just enjoying the feel of the warm water or the sound, or you're at the beach and you're listening to the waves. But what are some other activities that can encourage this type of mindfulness? Yeah, so the first thing is just to have an anchor. So the easiest anchor, of course, is our breathing because we always have that. So an anchor um, could also be that you are sitting outside in your backyard and you feel the sun on your skin. And just for that moment or a few moments, you're focusing on that sensation. Mm -hmm. And so that's your anchor. Um, another example of a way to practice mindfulness could be mindful eating. And so in that case, the anchor is the flavors of, say, a fresh strawberry. And so when you bite into it, you're focusing on those flavors, trying to uh, taste everything you can with that bite and really be intentional in that moment and savor it. And that's how uh, mindfulness can help with, say, keeping a healthy weight. Um, there are other ideas and ways that you can be mindful. So for instance, something like doing a gratitude journal. So just taking a few moments each day to kind of reflect on the good things that have happened or maybe struggles you might have had. But in that moment, you're just focusing on the day. Traditionally, a lot of people are familiar with things like stress balls yeah. and uh, different ways to kind of squeeze something and get that anxiety out when it pops up. But again, in that moment, you're just kind of 
uh, just existing and not really worrying about the different stresses around you. Um, other great examples, things like stretching and physical activity. So maybe just taking a few moments to do some exercises to kind of get your breath going and lower that anxiety or even something a lot more structured like a formal yoga class and going out and uh, having an hour to really focus on your breathing and where you're at mentally. This is such great advice, Patrick, and it's something we all need to think about because in this world, this culture, we're moving at such a fast pace. We can lose that connection, that awareness with our bodies and um, really great advice. Thank you so much for Thank being Thank you so much here. for having me. All right. Well, hopefully you got some tips that you can apply in your own life today to be more mindful and present to the, the gifts, the blessings in your life, and hopefully to enjoy even greater mental health. Thank you.